Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Elizabeth, and today we're going to be talking about modesty. Yeah, I know, it's a word that we don't seem to really like to talk about very much, but I think it's a very important word that we must talk about. If you're anything like me, when I think about modesty, I think about rules. Like rules on top of rules on top of rules. Like how long can your shorts really be? How um, long does your skirt has to be? And how tight can this outfit really be without making it like just a second layer of skin? So modesty isn't about a list of rules. It's about humility and it's about God. And I want to show you all that today. When I did my research for modesty, I came across a really great article actually from The Atlantic. And I think that The Atlantic actually got modesty pretty close to what it actually is. Except for talking about God in it, it really hit the spot. Uh, it really hit the button. Um, and I want to read that quote to you all today. It says, modesty is not ultimately about a list of appropriate attire or figuring out who's to blame for tr sexual transgressions. Rather, modesty is about a person, male or female, choosing to foster an inner spirit of humility and dignity and communicating that in outward, culturally contextualized symbols of dress and behavior. So I want us to look at the Bible and see what it says. So in the Greek, um, the word that they actually use is kamos, or meaning respectable. So I'm going to read you two verses and I want you to pick up the word respectable. First Timothy 2.9 Likewise also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel, with modesty and self-control, not with braided hair and gold or pearls or costly attire. 1 Timothy 3, 2. Therefore, an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. So modesty is all about being respectable and it's for both of men and women. In, a, in doing my research, I found a quote from Desiring God and it says, clearly modesty is not just a woman's issue and the enemy of our souls would delight to see us reduce it to such. Consider how he's expertly used our light, largely male-focused exhortations on lust to convince many women to fearfully hide their sin from the exposing light of confession, or to delude them into thinking their hungry, wandering eyes can't be lost simply because they aren't men. I think in the Christian culture of modesty, we have placed men on one side and women on the other side. Women, it's all about the way they dress, and men, it's all about their eyes. And I don't think that's right. I think it goes both ways, men and women, and it's something that we both struggle with. After all I just said, I want to sum it down into one sentence, and that is, modesty in essence is all about humility and being respectable for men and women. Now saying all that, and even saying what modesty is, how do we live modestly? I think a person lives modestly by making life not about them. It's by first making life about God. In the Corinthians church, they were having this whole argument over lawsuit, over adultery, over divorce, over uh, the clothing. And Paul is like saying, wait a minute, whoa, 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 wait, wait. This isn't about you. It's about God. And you're not putting your right focus on God. And to live a modest lifestyle is about making you lower and putting God higher. It's about where the focus is. And that's what Paul was trying to get to the Corinthians church when he was talking about these issues. Is that it's about God and you're not making it about God when you're arguing or when you're, you know, looking at something you're not supposed to be looking at. You're not making it about God. But we... But we're supposed to make it about God. And I think that's the that that's the um, foundation of modesty. It's about 
Am I wearing this so people are looking at me? Am I doing this to make people look at me? Am I doing this so I can get an achievement, so I can get some kind of recognition? Because that's not modesty. Or am I doing this so people know who God is? I think when it comes down to judging modesty, we shouldn't be judging it in the way that we have been. In the way of, mm, is that person wearing a uh, skirt uh, too low or is that shirt too low cut? Instead, we should be evaluating ourselves. What our intentions? Why am I doing this? And this can be evaluating in the area of finance, in the area of um, ministry, even because it's about our intentions. It's about am I doing this to get attention? Am I doing this to get recognition? Or am I doing this because I'm trying to put focus on God? It's about Putting the, it's about pushing away the focus about us and putting it on God. That is modesty. And that is how we're supposed to live a modest lifestyle. It's putting us lower and putting God higher. I did a lot of research for this video because this was a really hard subject for me to personally do. Uh, I will just go out and admit that. And I really hope this video helped you all. Uh, I really hope it did not confuse you all. Um... If you have any questions about modesty, please don't be afraid to ask. Go into the description, I mean, the um, the comment section below. And I also will have a link to the Design and Guide page all about modesty in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to ask. If you have any Bible verses that you want to share about modesty, please don't be afraid to put that in the comment below. Um, but yeah, this subject was such a hard subject and was something I, I was procrastinating so much because I think we've made modesty so confusing at times when in essence, modesty is just about God and it's about humility. So again, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up, comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell button for notification. And again, I'll see you next time. Bye.